Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to our fabulous week 10 of our English 410 class. Hopefully you guys got a chance to enjoy some of this gorgeous sunshine after the rainy, snowy, gray, whatever weirdness we've had the last couple weeks. Uh, this week we are working on taking data from our excellent surveys that we did last week. Um, you wrote beautiful surveys. You're getting feedback on those. You filled out surveys for your classmates last week. This week we're taking the data from those surveys and we're creating graphs using Excel so that we have visual components uh, or conceptual models that we are going to then incorporate into our MIR document. So once again, all of our assignments are building in this class. Here we are building those visual components, visual representations of data that we can then incorporate into the MIR. So this week you're gonna be working with Excel, which is exciting. Uh, so we've got our duplicate, weird. Uh, I'll delete one of those. On Wednesday, we've got our Excel graphing exercise part one. Uh, this is where we are going to practice using Excel using a, a provided data set. So I've got all the data for you here in this Excel data file. You're going to download that and you're going to create seven different kinds of graphs. And this is a chance to give us practice using various forms of visual information. So a line graph, a column chart, a pie chart, a bar graph, or a pie graph, a bar graph in a horizontal form, a stacked columns graph, and a radar graph. All of these are a chance to um, see how data can be in the visual mode and see which one you think would most effectively convey the data that you then collect later. So we've got those seven we're creating. And each of these seven need to be formatted in APA style. So APA style, of course, has a lot of rules and a lot of guidelines. This is what your images should look like. So we want to have that title. We need to have a clear X and Y axis along with clear labels for each of those access points. Uh, and then we need to have a legend that explains what each of the colors in the graphs represent, as well as a figure number and then a figure note where we talk about what is being conveyed in the data chart. So one or two sentence of caption that lets us know kind of the key points or the key takeaways of this graph. Uh, you're going to do this for each of these seven examples here, and then you're going to import those graphs into a Word document and submit that Word document as the assignment here. Uh, and I've got examples of how to do that as well. So that's going to be the first part of our Excel graphing exercise. And if I, if I write part one, there's probably a part two, you can imagine. Uh, part two is where you get to use the data from your surveys that you collected last week. So hopefully, ideally, you got at least four responses to your surveys. Hopefully more, but hopefully at least four. Uh, the more data you have, the more survey responses you have, the more interesting and compelling these graphs will be. So I would highly recommend uh, finding the people around you and asking them to fill out those surveys, friends, family members, coworkers, random people you run into in the grocery store, you know, like maybe not them, uh, but do find people to fill these surveys out because the more completed surveys you have, the wider your data pool and the better your visuals will turn out, or at least the more information they will convey to your reader. So try and get as many folks to fill out those surveys as possible because um, it will be really helpful as you create these visual components. So in part one, we worked with a pre-populated data set and you made seven different forms of graphs from that data set. Uh, here in part two, you're going to be using the results of your surveys. You're going to compile those and you're going to create three original graphs. And you can create those graphs in any of the styles that we practiced in part one. So any of those seven, pick the ones that you think are most effective at conveying information in this form and go ahead and create three original graphs from your survey data. Um, we've got some templates here to work with that'll help guide you. Here's an excellent video on how to use Excel in case you're not familiar with the program. This is really, really helpful. Um, another really helpful thing, if you're not sure how to use Excel, just use YouTube. You know, like that's, if I get stuck in Excel, because Excel can do a billion things. If I ever get stuck, I go into YouTube and I go tutorial for Excel on how to do blah, blah, blah. And something comes up and it's always very helpful. You might have to weed through a couple um, but there's always useful stuff on there. So if you do get stuck and this video isn't helpful, see what else the experts can share <laughs> in the world of YouTube or send me a message and I can help you too. 
Uh, once again, you're going to import all of these graphs into a Word document. You're going to format them with that title, with the clear X, Y access labels, with the clear legend that identifies each of the color groups, and then the figure number and the figure note. You're going to want to do all that again um, for these three graphs as well. Yay, fun stuff. All right, and if we take a look at our calendar, I just want to encourage you guys as we're like in this last little bit of the quarter, sometimes it's easy to lose momentum, but we are so close to being done. So this week we are working on the Excel graphing exercises. Uh, next week on Monday, you're gonna be turning in the interview results summary. So if you haven't finished your interview yet, make sure that you get those done by Monday. Uh, most of you have them already, but if you don't get that scheduled, get that those interviews done, because uh, we're going to be submitting that on the 13th. Then next week, you're just going to be working on revising your MIR to make it beautiful and perfect. We've got an extra credit opportunity here. And then you're turning in that MIR document on the 21st, and then we're done. There's no final in this class. The MIR document is the final. Uh, it's your chance to demonstrate mastery in the student learning outcomes outlined in the student syllabus and in our course catalog. We check all those boxes with the MIR, so we don't need to have an exam. Hooray! Uh, but you do need to turn in that on the 21st. Uh, make sure it's beautiful and perfect. It's worth a ton of points. But do remember that it is a building document. So when you pop into that management investigative report assignment, you're like, dang, this thing is big. But remember, we've done most of it. We did the annotated bibliography. We did the review of sources. We did the interviews. We are working on creating visuals from our survey data, like all of those pieces that are in the MIR. We're doing them each week so that then we can just compile them when we get to the end here. So uh, lots of good things coming our way. Uh, and you can earn extra credit by going to the CBC Writing Center, either online or in person. As we're taking a look at the end of the quarter, you're taking a look at your grade, you're like, oh, a couple more points would really help me out. Uh, you can go to the Writing Center, but do remember that they get really, really busy toward the end of the quarter. So if you want to get a session, you want to schedule in person or online, you're going to want to do that like sooner rather than later, like ideally this week, because they're going to be so busy these next couple of weeks as everyone on campus is also trying to seek help. Uh, and keep in mind that the online option typically takes between 48, 72 hours to get feedback to you. So if you ask them to read it on the 21st, you're not going to have feedback in time, right? So plan ahead, plan your time, use it wisely and well. If you want to seek that extra credit help, awesome. Not only will your report be stronger, but you get extra credit points if you email me a copy of the feedback you get from the tutor. So good things coming all around there. So the last couple opportunities to get those bonus points, we've got an extra credit right here, or you can go to the Writing Center and send me the feedback and earn some extra points that way. Other than that, we just have our Excel graphing exercises this week. We've got our interview results uh, next week. And then the following week, we're turning the MIR in and we're done. We're so close to being done. So hang in there, guys. You've got this. If you've got any questions, reach out. I'm here to help.